but out here in the real world, oh god, get away from me. Welcome back to another episode of Games You Never Played. I'm your host, Gaming J, and in this series, we play incomplete alphas, unreleased betas, leaked prototypes, and other games that were never really widely released. And today, we are checking out Takahashi Mejin Noboken Jimba 4. And uh, I say that that is the name of the game, even though it's called uh, Master Takashi's Adventure Island 4 here, because this game was never released outside of Japan. Fun fact, this was the final game ever released for the Famicom. It came out in 1994. And to put this in context, this is the fourth Adventure Island game, actually the fifth, because if you consider Super Adventure Island on the Super Nintendo part of the series, uh, there were four Adventure Island games on the Nintendo, and this is the last one, but there was also the Super Nintendo version. So this is the fourth or fifth version, uh, you know, uh, entry in the series, depending on your definition of what the series is. But this game came out in 1994, the Super Nintendo, Super Adventure Island, and Adventure Island 3 both came out in 1992, so two years prior. So this game really came out even after the Super Nintendo was a thing, and that's actually pretty crazy. Now, as you can see here, there's going to be lots of fun worlds to explore. Um, this game is actually also pretty unique in that the prior Adventure Island games were kind of very linear platformers where you just run to the left or to the right and try and get to the end of a, uh, of a stage, and that's it. Whereas these adventure, this final adventure island game is much more of a non-linear game with inventories and items. It's much more of a Metroidvania style game. Um, and that's pretty awesome, actually. In Adventure Island 3, you could ride dinosaurs, kind of like uh, Yoshi's or like how in Donkey Kong Country, you can ride all sorts of crazy animals. In this game, I think those dinosaurs don't exist or they exist later in the game. Um, so... Yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's just let's just hop in here and give this one a shot. I have no idea how far we're going to get. Um, but uh, you know, we're going to give it we're going to give it uh, the old college try here. Also, one last thing I'll say is that this game is actually a patched version of the original game. So here we see an evil face in the sky. It's going to come and kidnap all of our dinosaur pals. This is why I think you don't actually get to ride these guys in this game cuz they were like the main mechanic in Venture Island 3 if uh, I'm remembering correctly. But uh, this is actually a patched version of the Famicom game because it was only ever released in Japan, it was never formally translated. And so I actually had to download an English translation hack for this game. Anyway, here's Master Higgins, or I guess he's known as Master Takahashi in Japan. He's got his uh, sweet girlfriend. He can actually duck. That's actually an awesome animation. Like look, his hat even like falls off his head briefly. And it's instantaneous. It's it's not a delayed animation, uh, even though there's so many frames of animation. I This is actually really cool. Like, I'm fascinated by the duck. Um, anyway, his girlfriend finally isn't being kidnapped, so we don't have to worry about saving her. She's just going to hang out in the homestead, I think, here. You know, she's going to, like, read a book, have some me time. Can I climb this ladder? Yes, I can. I don't know what this is up here. Is this, like, a password or something? It's just two dashes on the wall. This is a chalkboard. This is where we hold a uh, homeschool for our non-existent children. Um, anyway, babe, I've got to go. My planet needs me. See ya! Oh, she's waving at me! Oh my god, this is so cool! It's it's crazy playing an NES game that was... Or Famicom game, I should say, technically. That's this far along, 1994. Because it's like, this is leagues ahead of where the Famicom started in terms of games. But anyway, long time no see, Master Higgins. I wish I could help you, but I overeaten and I can't lift myself. Take this egg instead. Lay the egg on a pedestal by pushing up. Pick the egg in the menu when you want to warp. Okay, so we have a warping egg. Thank you, giant bird dude, pterodactyl or whatever he is. Let's go ahead and begin our adventure. As you see, there are giant rocks that are sealing off parts of the map, so uh, we're going to have to wait till we get items to unlock that part of the map, and... Oh my god, wait, what was that that just hit me? Like a leaf? Um, I'm really excited to play this game here today because I love platformers like this that are very explory. Um, let's try going up here. You can climb these trees, I know. Um, I love platforms that are very explory like this, and again... 
The prior Adventure Islands, um, I definitely played a lot of Adventure Island 1 when I was a kid. Like, I think, uh, ooh, a star, Invincible. I think a friend of mine owned it, and I would play it at his house. And definitely, I liked it, but it certainly was not super advanced. I mean, you just ran to, from the left to the right side of the screen, so it was a little basic. Come back here with a hammer. Okay, well, F you. <laughs> He's like, get the hell out of here till you have a hammer, bub. Um, but yeah, the, the Adventure Island one was definitely a little basic. And so I didn't dislike it, but it was like never my favorite platformer. I know some people like really like the Adventure Island game, so that's fine. Um, but I just found it a little simple. So to have an Adventure Island game that is like more advanced, I'm like, I'm excited for this, like exploring rooms and stuff. This item shows your location on the map. Are you set? Sure. Do I get it? By the way, fruits grant extra power. Okay, what do I do here? Uh, is this a race? Oh god, what's what's happening? Oh my god, he's just humping the bottom of the thingy. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, did I do something wrong there? Okay, we're just gonna move on. I don't know what that was about. Um, I think these, yeah, these let you bounce. This is so cool. I'm just- I'm just walking around exploring dinosaur land, guys. Oh my god, there's a bat. Okay, hold on. Is this a boss? This feels very bossy. To have something, like, just fade in off- off, off the screen and, like... Oh god, what's he gonna do? Oh my god! Oh, he hit me! Okay. okay so he flies at you. That's his thing. Oh, I left! <laughs> I peaced out! I was like, screw this fight. See ya! Oh man, does that mean he regenerates his health? I mean, that would- that would be fair. Because otherwise you could just leave the fight. And as soon as he's about to hit you, oh, we dodged that time. And, uh, you know, you would... It's a cheap way of avoiding dying. It's funny how there's an... Oh, I did it again! <laughs> I gotta keep my hand off this up button. I'm pressing it by accident. I go to press left or right, and I'm pressing up. It's funny how there's an exit in this boss room. Like, imagine Mario was fighting Bowser, and then just halfway through the fight, he was like, uh... Eh, I'm done. See ya. Like, he just was like, forget it. I don't want to finish what I started here. Kind of hilarious. Usually when you fight bosses, they like lock you into the room and you have no no choice but to leave. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, we got an egg. Oh, we got the hammer. Okay, so the mole guy wanted me to have the hammer. So we can definitely go back to him. I think when you only have one heart, you get that annoying like Ninja Turtles uh, beep that, uh, you know, constantly warns you you only have uh, one life. How do I select this? There we go. Smash! Ooh! Okay, I'm gonna select that, though. We're gonna play the bones. Keep throwing them bones. It's nice to be have a constant warning that you have low health, but I feel like the beep was never a good system. You know, like, game developers were like, we need to tell the player they only have one life left. Let's just make the game beep. Annoyingly and incessantly. Ooh, we have bombs! Oh, no, we threw it away instantly. What is happening here? Do these guys just infinitely spawn? Can I just farm? What am I looking for? Apples or something? Okay, I think they're done. Alright, let's just fall. Let's just leap of faith here. Another thing I like about this game is you don't die to pits. It's such a video game cliche that if you jump down a pit, you just die instantly. But in this, it kind of seems like that is not the case. Oh god, I don't know what those green things are, but they... If I take one hit, I'm dead. Um, but yeah, it's such, it's such a video game cliche that if you... Oh, wh whoa, 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 who's that? What was that? I placed the egg on the pedestal. And then I died. I'm lying in the gutter in the forest somewhere. Do I get to play again? Oh, he wakes up in front of his house. She's like, oh no, Master Higgins, wake up. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you for saving me. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. You're the best, babe. Giving her a little smooch on the, the cheek before I, uh, you know, go off to more adventures. I'd be nothing without you. You are the wind beneath my wings, babe. Now I gotta go. See ya! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he, uh, it looked like he, uh, tripped there. I went to, like, climb down the ladder and he totally, like, uh, Oh, I totally don't get those items? I have to go get the hammer again? Um, I went to, like, jump down the ladder and instead it looked like I, like, tripped and fell on the ladder. Like I went, huh, <laughs> Oh, you can crawl! Oh my god, oh, you can moonwalk crawl, man. 
It's like I don't even try certain things in video games typically because I'm trained that they're not going to do anything. Like, I've been trained my entire video game career that when you're playing like an, uh, a Nintendo game, like, like maybe you can duck. In some games you can't even duck. But like, don't even bother trying to crawl. Like, it's such a rare ability. So it's like I don't even think to try it. Meanwhile, I can actually do it. That's exciting. And yeah, we're gonna go and s we're going to get the hammer and then we're gonna go right back to that other guy. I think that's what we'll try. So this guy actually was not hard at all. He was like a nice, this, this was like a fair boss, like a fair, like level one kind of boss. Like he has a really basic pattern and unless you like really screwed up, it's like hard to lose. Like you can basically beat him without taking a single hit. And you know when I when when I can beat somebody without taking a single hit, you know he's an easy boss. <laughs> yeah, do some crawling around, victory crawls. Boom! Give me that sweet hammer. All right, we need to figure out how to save our game because there must be a way to not have to get the hammer every time. Um, oh, we're gonna go back and do the mole game. I forgot. Um, boink. I like the I like that mechanic of bouncing on the thingy there. Boink. I wonder if, I mean, we did see like a snowboard and stuff on the title screen. I know this game, the Adventure Island games traditionally had like a lot of skateboards and stuff in them. Um, so I wonder if we're going to see too much of that. This fairy can revive you if you get KO'd. Are you set? Yes. You need to earn 20 points to win. Okay. Oh, here we go. We got a, it's a playing the mole game. Boom. Boom. Boom! Oh, come on. Boom, I gotcha. Boom, gotcha. Boom! Oh, this is actually like a really fair game. There we go. Boom. Not too hard to get him. Boom. 20 points, man. How many chances are they gonna give me here? I've missed three now. Hopefully they give you like 25 or 30 guys. Boom, 16, 17. Oh God, okay, I missed four. No, five. Ugh. Okay, oh no, I think it's done. I think it's done. Oh my God, we were one short. Okay, so they give you 25. They give you 25. Let's give this another shot. I can totally, I can get that fairy, man. Hey, wait, where are my fruits? You need to earn 20 points to win. All my fruits are gone. What the heck? That's weird. So I wonder if you need fruits to play these mini games or something. Like you collect them, but they're obvious they're not health or anything in this game. So it's like, remember that other mini game we tried to play where it was like climbing a pole and we just failed at it? I wonder if we needed fruit for that. Next time we get a bunch of fruits, we'll give it a track. Here we missed two. I'm gonna keep track of what we miss. There's 25. Okay, we missed three. We can miss two more. Shit. Okay, there's one. Okay, we can only miss one more. Boom. I'm gonna stay near the middle. Wait, 16! Oh, wait. I had five fruits and it gave me 25. Okay. So the fruits make these mini games doable. Interesting. Okay, well, we're screwed because we have no fruits right now, so we might as well, you know, power on, power forward and see what we can figure out. Whoops. There was a rock to the far left that we uh, never did anything with. Oh, you know what? I don't even have the checkpoint egg. Man, you have to get, like, everything back when you die. This game is actually brutal. All right, well, let's just see what we can make of this. I don't even 100% understand how the, the checkpoint egg actually works or does anything. But, uh, we should think about what kind of... Uh, oh, God! Ow, you dick. That guy is brutal, man. Like, if you don't know that guy's coming, he just, like, ices you. Ooh, we can jump up there. Let's try jumping up here before we go in the caves. Um, I think this is a... Wait, what is this? Huh, that's interesting. Can we break this? we smash no we can't all right so we have to go in the caves i like that this game is non-linear but it's like there's only so many places to go uh so it's like you know 
You can explore a little bit, but also slightly on rails. I like that. This game honestly reminds me a little bit of Shovel Knight. You guys remember that one? That was like a modern game that was designed to be like an NES game, and uh, we played through it... Uh, was it last year or the year before? I forget now. It all blends together. But we played through it at some point. Um, and I quite liked Shovel Knight. It was... Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no! Get off me, Bat! Wait, what the heck? He stole my fruit! Get off me, Bat! Get off me, Bat! Oh, my God. The bats are stealing my fruit. That sucks. So much for playing those mini-games. Um, I'll kill you, too. So this is a place where we could, in theory, put our, our egg, but... Uh, I guess not. We don't even have the egg. If I go back to the, uh... Dragon Guy, I'll try to remember to get the egg. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, it's a switch! Oh, neat! Okay, we have to wait for the timing here. Okay, that didn't work. Go! Oh, perfect. And... A heart. Oh, more heart! Oh my god, it's like Legend of Zelda. That is actually... An essential upgrade. Sweet! I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So we're in the first world, still. There were like... Five worlds, I remember, from the uh, overworld at the very beginning on the title screen there. Oh, shoot. Wait, if I do this, will they come back? Oh, they will. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Messed it up again. Try this one more time. Boom. Boom. Now, what's this? What just happened? Okay, that was confusing. Let's try this one more time. Jump, jump, jump. And then... I'm gonna try pushing this over here this time. Oh, hello. Now what do we do with it? I'm gonna try pushing it over here. Okay, nothing happens. Okay, one more shot here. Oops. There's gotta, there's gotta be something to do with this puzzle. I swear. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, and we just fall down. Okay. I'm gonna try pushing it this way. Nothing. Oh, what the heck? I picked it up! Oh my god. Okay, well now what? Wait. I drop it. Oh! Hello! Secrets! Oh my god, I love a good secret! Game. Master Takashi, how did I do that? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna bring this thing with me. Oh, it disappears, I see. Whoa, what is this thing? Oh my god, ow! Uh-oh, this is a boss of some kind. Okay. Oh god, ow. Oh, we're about to die! No, 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 no! Oh no, come on! Aw, oh, damn it. Are we like dead dead? Okay, we have to be woken up again. We need to figure out a way to save our game. St straight up, uh, wiping the game every time is not working out for us. Damn it. Okay. I got a plan. Long time no see. I wish I could help, but I've overeaten. Take this egg. Lay it on a pedestal by pushing up when you want to warp. Okay. We have the warp egg. If that was the boss to the whole level, then first of all, we gotta explore here. Second of all, I think I can get that KO fairy by beating that uh, that mini game. Uh, I'm just gonna get like eight eight uh, fruits and play the mini game. That means that uh, I'll get 28 chances. And if I can't get uh, if I can't get uh, 20 you know moles with 28 chances, then I don't deserve to play this game. Ooh, double star. It's just infinite star. Boom, boom. Okay, well, at least we're figuring out this level. So that's the final boss for this this whole stage. I'm pretty sure we can beat that guy. He wasn't impossible. Yeah, we'll come back for the, for the when we have the hammer. Look at all the fruit we have, too, actually. Now that I know what I'm doing, I feel like this is way easier. Boom. Max fruit. Hey, wait, where did, our, well, where did all our fruit go? Wait, where did all our fruit go? This is... Uh, I don't want that, no. Okay, we just lost all of our fruit. What, what? What's the deal there? 
It's actually really annoying. Fruit! Okay, it's gone. All right. Let's beat this boss. And then I think we will backtrack to that other cave. And we will get the fruit in the process of backtracking. And we will get the KO fairy, like, as we go there. So it's like, I have a whole plan here, guys. I have a whole system. I call it the J system for beating... Uh, what game were we playing? Adventure Island 4? It's funny because it's not actually called Adventure Island 4, right? It's some Japanese name. But if this had been ported to the West, they would have called it Adventure Island 4. Master Takashi's Adventure Island 4. Although Master Takashi was always Master Higgins in the West here. Alright, this time we're just immediately backtracking. So I think I do remember reading that if you get all eight pieces of fruit, then it basically um, just gives you health. So we actually don't want that to happen. So instead, so we got three pieces of fruit. Ow! Okay, maybe now we do want the health. Oh man, that sucks. I just have landed on that guy. Okay, we have five pieces of fruit, six pieces of fruit. Doing pretty good on the fruit front. Yeah, let's just, we're right here. Let's see if we can actually smash this. Oh, we can't! Okay. So really, that must have been the level boss, because there's kind of nowhere to go. He's the last room we haven't, like, fully beaten. All right, here's our seventh piece of fruit. Crap, there's an eighth. I'm actually going to make it despawn. It's funny, because this is risky. I could have I could have taken the, uh, taken the health and try to get a few more pieces of fruit. But instead, I'm actively not getting the fruit so that we can do this right away. It's kind of like taking a piece of fruit, because if I do die and the KO Fairy revives me, then it's just as if I took that piece of fruit and I had two hits. But this is high risk, high reward. Because if I can get some health, then it may... I may have basically an extra life. This is the extra life fairy. Boom, boom. Damn it. Boom. Gotcha. Ugh, oh, you dick. So when they when when they sort of just stuck out of the holes a little bit, then they go back in the holes faster. That's, like, that guy will go in fast. Yeah, okay. Interesting how, like, they even convey to you if they're gonna come out fast or slow. Like, that guy will stay out long enough. That guy will... That guy's short! Oh, we got him anyway. That guy's long, missed him anyway. Got him. Oh, come on, you dicks. 18... 19... 20! Yes, we did it! Give me that fairy. I'm gonna stuff her in my pocket. <laughs> she looks like a duck. She looks like, uh... Like a Donald Duck-style fairy. Alright, now we need health. We also have that egg that we can, like, place on things. Okay, so the next step, I think, is to keep going forward and work on the health thing. So, we will start collecting fruit again, but this time, if we get enough pieces of fruit, we're just gonna cash it in for health. Hopefully we don't die. It will undermine the whole effort of having this fairy. Come on, health! Yes! Alright, we're in a good spot, guys. We're beating this level. I can feel it. I can feel it in my Nintendo bones. Uh, this was the boss we already fought, right? Yeah. Are there any secrets in here? This game has, like, a healthy amount of puzzles and secrets. Wait, that kind of look like... No, it's nothing. Boom. Alright. Off we go! To Grand Adventures. Smash. One thing I have to be careful about is that rabbit that comes running at full speed, because he hit he hit me the two times I made it over here. So I just have to be aware. Just have to remind myself to not fall victim to that that rabbit. Um, ooh, hello. Hello. I will take all your fruit. Oh, what is this? Oh, I oh, can throw the bomb. The bomb, like, wipes the screen, I guess? Interesting. All right. We gotta help. Oh, God, back off. Healthy amount of fruit. I want to get like seven pieces and then just walk. Oh, crap. I was gonna say seven pieces and then walk away from the fruit uh, because I don't want to. Uh, I want to basically have it set up so that as soon as I need health, I can get it. I avoided the fast guy. That was good. 
Um, oh yeah, there's a thing up there, an ice cube. I bet when you beat this guy down here, you get something to beat the ice cube. That's my bet. All right, we're in a great position though. And I also know how to get the uh, extra, extra health. That will help us. Oh man. I wonder if Higgins can swim. I have no idea if you fall in that water, if it's just game over. Also like, how do you get that, that egg? Must be a way to get in there. Hmm. Okay, well, it's a mystery to me right now. Maybe you swim. Maybe you can swim and you're supposed to, like, swim. Oh, God, he's stealing all my fruit, isn't he? You dick. Hmm. I wonder if you're supposed to water that somehow. Okay. I don't want these bats to take all my fruit, so. The red bats you gotta watch out for. They're the jerks. Plant my egg. I think that's a checkpoint of some kind. Crap, I just got a last piece of fruit. I'm not good with managing my fruit intake. I really just, if I see fruit, I eat it. Boom, okay. By the time this just right, oh man. I got a little too anxious there. Boom, we got it. Oh yeah, easy. Give me that heart, Legend of Zelda style, I like it. So if I had this game back in the day, if I had this NES game, I guarantee I would have played it. I mean, already, honestly, like, sometimes I start playing an NES game and it's like it grows on me the, the more I play it. Sometimes I start playing one and immediately I don't think I really like it, but uh, after I play it for a bit, I kind of realize, actually, I think I do like it. Other times I start playing a game and I'm like, no, I don't like this. But this one, instantly, I feel like I'm really enjoying the mix of platforming, and puzzles, how do, you, how do you actually, there we go. I I really don't know how to pick those things up. It's kind of weird. Boom, 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 and boom. Oh, we missed, we missed by an inch. Hold on, maybe I can make these, that platform respawn. If I go over here, yes it did, interesting. Oh yeah, we got it. Boom, we got the meat. All right, I think this is the boss. So we're just going to plow him. So the ball, ball's behavior changes, it seems. Oh, we're not even gonna need this fairy. Look at this. We just know how to, how to ice this guy. Oh, and he's changing color. Perfect boss design. It lets you know when you're close to killing him. Yeah, we dominated him. Oh, he's giving the peace sign and he's winking. He's letting you know what's up. Oh, the big ball, boulder broke. Oh my god, there's a dinosaur! He's in jail! Yes, we freed him! Oh, can we ride you? Dude, thank you. Let's get out of here. Use this! A torch! He just- the dinosaur gave me fire. Equip it. Okay, I thought it would light up the room, but I guess not. Um... Oh, there we go! Oh, so cool! So cool, very neat mechanics. Wow. That is awesome. This is like a mix of Legend and Zelda, of Zelda meets Mario. Oh my god, and, and my my life partner here, she's just hanging out. Good luck, I love how she waves at you. Thank you! I'm throwing her some bones. That's currency in uh, Caveman Days. I'm like, here, buy yourself something nice. I love you. She completes me, guys. Let's talk to the big fat lazy dinosaur, see if he has any more advice for us. The boulder beneath... Wait, what did it say? The boulder beneath crumbled? I kinda, I kinda skipped past that dialogue rather quickly. Didn't necessarily mean to. Cool! We're off. Off to the west now. To new lands to explore. I guess the only thing, if we had continued to go east, would have been that ice cube that we couldn't get past. But I presume there will be a way to get past that. Oh, well, look at this. Wait, I can't even jump that high. Ugh. Oh, ow, ow. I'm just jamming my head into a diamond. Okay. I kind of want to jump in this pit because pits in this game usually take you somewhere. But I'm on like a low level. I feel like jumping into a pit might just be death. I don't want to try it. Ooh, dinosaur land. Can we go in here? I'm pressing up and nothing happens. Oh! Oh, this is cool. It's a gate. So I'm walking through the gate. See how I'm in front of it now? And then I'm behind it. So it's like, yeah, I've walked into the gate. That's neat. Ooh, what are all these? Wait, why are there five suits? 
<laughs> I mean, I guess they needed five doors, but it's actually kind of funny, like, uh... You know, it's like card suits except star. Imagine you're playing a deck of cards with friends, and they have, like, the ace of stars, and you're like, what the hell? You ripping me off, Johnny? Uh, can we talk to this dinosaur? Oh my god, we can ride him! Yes! Mmm, yeah, that that's what I want. Um... Oh my god, there's just free fruit hanging out. Wait, where where did that dinosaur... Okay, so you can only take one dinosaur at a time. Oh my god, this guy has his own dinosaur... Dinosaur park. Oh, yes. Let's go get that item that lets us see where we are on the map. I'm feeling confident now. Like, look at this. This is amazing. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that spider. Get out of here, spider. Get out of here, frog. Oh, oh, don't you try it. No, my dinosaur. Okay, hold on. Let's just go get this item because we have so many fruit pieces. Don't pick up loose fruit, Jay. Don't you do it. I have to, I'm like verbally reminding myself because otherwise I'll forget and I'll do it by accident. Um, it was near, it was very near the start over here. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, let's farm a bit of fruit. Let's farm a bit of fruit and then go and do this thing. Where was it anyway? I think it was like up here? I'm still like learning the map. No, it wasn't up here. I guess we had to go through the caves. All right, well, we've already built back up four pieces of fruit. Five pieces of fruit. This is the hammer. I wonder what he says now. You got the fairy. Okay. Oh, this, uh, that's nice. So they don't make you waste fruit by doing it again. Um, yeah, it was up here or something. We're near anyway. All right, there's seven pieces of fruit. That's about as go. Oh, no, son of a bitch. All right, let's mine more fruit. There's gonna be like seven pieces of fruit. That's about as good as it gets. And I just accidentally grabbed a piece, setting myself back to zero. It isn't, uh, like, I do like how the, the fruit gives you health, but I just kind of wish that you could choose whether to cash it in for health, because I would kind of right now just have, rather have seven or eight pieces of fruit. I'd rather have eight, honestly, if I could. But, uh, you know, well, it seems like a piece of fruit always spawns there near the log. The one always spawns here. So we can, we can easily get all the fruit that we need out of this. Boom, boom. Okay, let's just grab one, because one always spawns. This is a trap. If you come to this door with seven pieces of fruit, you're losing the fruit. Get that. We'll take a free heart. All right. I don't know how to climb this. This item shows your location on the map. Are you set? Yes, I think... You press A or B. We're gonna press them both. And I'm holding up. So it's one of these has to work. Go, 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 go! Oh! Oh, that was so easy! You just hold up and... I was tapping A and B. I assume one of those did something. Alright. Now... Do I get... Map. Oh my god, I do. Wait, where... Where am I on the map? <laughs> it said it would show me. Oh, do I have to actually use the item? Boom. Oh my god, look at this! That is so cool and helpful. Very neat. That was totally worth it. I like how the map was like isometric there. That's amazing. All right, well. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I'm trying to climb down the tree and he's just like slamming his whole torso on the tree. Full power. Oh, I guess I have to go back over top. If I go in the cave, I can't go back. Point. I've never backtracked at this point, so I actually don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. There we go. Okay, I guess I'll go down this way. I think it's safer, as I recall. Eh, I'll grab the fruit. Why not? Why not grab free fruit? When grapes fall out of a snail, you eat the grapes. What can I say? When they fall out of a monkey. When they fall out of a, a spider. Literally, if grapes fall out of any of, you know, nature's creatures, you eat the grapes. That's the case I'm making here. All right. So... You know what else we have not tried is using those warp zones. We have set up a few, like, warp pedestals with that broken egg all over the map. We should we should actually try them out. They could be very useful for skipping around. I'm so tempted to try going in this hole, but I also feel like it's going to kill me. So... I feel like, you know what, I'm going to look it up. 
I'm gonna look it up because this game, it seems like when you die, you just lose everything. And I definitely don't want to lose everything at this stage. We're too far along to be totally reset. Although maybe it will preserve the fact that I beat the first boss and I have this dragon guy. But okay, I'm gonna look up if this hole is the way to go. Oh wait, actually, can I use the compass? Will the compass just tell me? Compass says... You are... Wait, what? Compass says you are here. It looks like there's something down there. Alright, we're going for it. Yes! Finally a game where pits don't kill you. Although I assume pits down here definitely do kill you. So... I'm gonna try and not, uh, not die. Um, so the night, so the thing that sucks about this dinosaur is that the bones actually went further and were actually, actually seem more useful as items. However, I get a free hit riding the dinosaur. I get one hit that kind of doesn't even count. Um, come back here with a water gun. Ooh. Oh, I lost the dinosaur! Wait, the dinosaur can't travel in rooms? Is he in my items? Oh, he is! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool. Wait, so I can choose to ride the dinosaur or not ride him? Oh my god. Situational dinosaurs. This game is like, this game is crazy advanced. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. It came out in 94. Didn't the Super Nintendo like launch in 91? Like the Super Nintendo had been out for three years. So it's like they had, this was like at the, the peak of Nintendo, you know, technology. Like developers had figured out every single trick in the book oh god that was a scary jump oh no oh no oh we need a water gun to water this i know what we have to do we have to go find a water gun to water the plant to make it sprout so that we can jump on it okay so we can't be at this part yet so we're this is a little early for us so hmm let's use our brains i guess we'll try equipping the dinosaur here Maybe he can break us through this, uh, this diamond. You know what they say about diamonds and dinosaurs? Dinosaurs break them, I guess. Oh. Okay. He doesn't seem to be able to break it. I assume this will be how we get to the next level. So that means... Get out of here, frog. That means... I'm going to save my dinosaur. Because I not only have... Three hearts, but I also have a fairy that will revive me. So where do we go is the question. Let's just see if we can figure this out quickly by ourselves, and if we can't, then we will I then I will like look something up. But like are we missing anything? That's just health, which I actually don't need. I'm not even gonna activate it. At least I need it later. Gotten all these items. We've come through here. We have all this stuff. We're, I don't know where this goes, like that log. I don't know where that comes from. Let's just make sure the boss is still dead. Anyone alive in here? Hello? Oh yeah, that's right, I killed you. <laughs> Sorry! I'm not trying- I'm really not trying to be a dick and rub it in, but, uh, you know. These things happen. There was something in the cave, wasn't there? Like, the, the boss cave over here had something that we didn't know what it was at the time. Boom. Get this bomb here. Ooh, let's use the bomb. Hey, wait, what happened to the bomb? Oh, it's like if you don't use it on the screen, it disappears. Okay, whatever. I thought I could carry it with me and, like, use it strategically. I like how he sings a little musical jingle every time he, uh... He, like, unlocks fruit. Hold on, let's get this fast guy to go. Alright, see ya. Chump. Now let's... Okay. Wait, how do you use the egg? Oh, maybe the... You can, like, teleport back to the egg? What the heck? Okay, I don't understand egg-based teleportation, clearly. I guess if you're far away from the egg, now, like, I could teleport back to it. That's how it works. Okay, let's check up here. I'm pretty sure there was ice, and I don't... I think we can bust through this yet. Maybe if I ride the dragon, it'll make a difference. No. Can I? Can I like jump off the dragon like Yoshi? And, like hop even higher, jump over this wall? Guess not. Okay. So the only place left is the cave. 
Oh, I just like totally hit a hit a bad guy like kind of off screen. Wasn't even intending to kill you, dude. Wasn't even intending to kill you. Okay, I don't want to collect that fruit. Does it go away? <laughs> oh, it does eventually. There we go. The bats are actually gonna come and steal my fruit pretty soon. I'm gonna do what I can to preserve this potential health. Get out of here, raindrops. Okay, that is... The, we don't know how to get this egg. That is actually something. Maybe the dragon can, like, breathe through the wall or something? No, it doesn't seem to be able to. I feel like the dragon moves faster than Master Higgins. Okay. Oh, nice try, bat. Oh, he still got me! Get off of me, dude! Okay, well, he stole some fruit. That's okay. Because fruit... There's tons of fruit around here. Keep collecting more. Kill you. I throw my egg there. I've been in this room. Pretty sure there's nothing in here. Okay, yeah, it's empty. I'm really at wit's end here. I'm really like, what did I miss? Where do I need to go? There was obviously the plant to the left over there that I needed to sprout, but I need the water gun for that. So the water gun is what I'm trying to get. Water gun is what I'm... Oh, this, that's new, but that's locked off. Maybe it's locked off because I beat the boss, so I'm not allowed to go back there now. Just, uh, crack this egg up here. Okay, we got this. Okay, throw that there. Jump, jump. Got meat. Okay. I officially need to look up how to proceed. Alright, two important discoveries. First is that apparently you can save your game by coming in here and sleeping. Oh, there we go! We actually got a password! Okay, hold on. I am writing that down. 1-T-N-T-J-T-V-O. That way, you know, if we die, we, uh, we can actually restore things. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, the other thing that I learned... Bye! Love you! Here's some bones! Have fun at the market! Tell Sarah I said hi! That's her friend who she goes to the market with. Um, the other thing is that once again, my trained fear of pits from other video games was leading me astray. And there was a second pit in this cave that you can just go in. So if we go down to this cave here... Now, in any other video game, you would have to uh, literally fear for your life any time you saw an infinite pit, but here you can just fall in. No biggie. All right, so let's uh, let's explore this cave here and let's get uh, fire out. I like how they're like giving you uh, items and stuff that you need uh, as you go into more advanced areas. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, it's, a, it's a giant snake. A snake who has eaten everybody. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We need the power of dragon here. Boom! Boom! Okay, he just... He makes you jump really high. That's his thing. Oh, we beat him! <laughs> I feel like the bones did most of the work there. What do we got? Is that a water gun? Looks like a foam nerf sword. It is. Oh yeah, water gun! Damn, this game is awesome! Alright. Feeling confident, feeling good. Let's finish exploring this level of the cave. But then we have a couple new places that we can go. First of all, there was the uh, plant up here that we can water, but let's first explore over here. Ooh, there's a plant over here that we can water, too. Let's try it. Boom! Boom and bounce. Oh, but we need the uh, flames. So the flames are timed. That's kind of cool. We'll put our teleportation egg there. Oh my god, that's on fire. Can we put it out with the water? Oh my god, that's so neat! Neat! Oh god, ow. Oh, hold on. Is that thing gonna, like, drop on us and kill us? I wish I could shoot upwards. Oh my god, he's hovering near us. Okay, he seems to have lost interest. Man, those, some of those jumps are tight, though. There we go. Oh god, there's lava in that pit. I'm glad I didn't see that. Alright, man, there's so much to explore now. Now that we have the water gun. Okay, let's try going out. See what we got. Oh, it's a cool snake! 
There's a cool snake here. The dragon snake. Uh, let's get our. I, I, I want to really want to save our dragon. I don't want him to die, so I don't like having him equipped. Oh shoot! Oh my god! Ow! Ow! Oh, we didn't die! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh my god! We're about to die though. Luckily, we have that berry. God. Okay. Wow. This is. I just assumed if you land in the lava, you're dead. Which- what video game lets you land in lava and not die? Oh! Oh! That's- that's health! Oh! These are precarious jumps, man! They're testing my abilities! Oh, there's a cool snake! Oh, he spit fire at us! Not this time, cool dude! You might be king of... Snake High! But out here in the real world- Oh god! Get away from me! Get away, get away, get away! <laughs> out here in the real world... Bones rule. Okay, I'm gonna jump in this pit. Oh my god, is that a warp pipe? Oh, what is this? Or some kind of, like, hopping crab. Man, there's so much to actually explore down in these caves. Oh my god. That scares me. The bones I actually really like because they arc, so, like, you can get guys who are below you. Again, I feel like the dragon's breath is not as useful as these bones. That's another reason I'm not really using the dragon. Is that I honestly feel like... The, uh, the non-dragon weapon is a little, just a little better. Just edges it out a tiny bit. All right, hopefully this is a new item. Jump in here. See what we got. Oh no, it's just... Interesting. Okay, we have to kill this guy. Switch to our bones. I feel like I'm definitely gonna get lost in these caverns here. Oh, oh god! Oh god, get out of there! Master H... Can I just drop that in there? Yes, I can. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, it's just life. Wait. You have to risk life and limb for a bit of life. There we go. Boink. I love the fact that you can just pick up these platforms and throw them. That's actually so cool. Okay, so there's nothing in there of value to us. Kill that armadillo. Need our water gun. Boink, boink. Go. And jump! That one... Oh, can we put out these fires? Oh, we totally can! Whoa! Very cool. Man, what are all the other items in this game? I wonder. Boink. For a teleportation egg here. There's definitely parts of this cave we totally skipped. Oh my god, are we, like, at the boss? This feels like a boss. He's in some kind of, like, gem caves. Okay, we're totally at some kind of boss here. Oh my god, what's he gonna do? Oh god. What do you want, dude? Is that the best you got? That kind of sucks. Is that the best you got, dude? You suck. Oh my god. Do something. I feel bad for him. Oh my god, that was the easiest boss ever. Oh no, he's still alive. Okay. Phase two, I got gotcha. you. I feel ya. Redeeming yourself. Your boss friends are not gonna laugh at you. Boom. Killed him. Killed him. Alright, what else you got? Oh, you're tiny now. How am I gonna get you? Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ow. Thank God we have the fairies. Oh, I did like a little moonwalk dash there. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, oh no! Revive me, fairies! Revive me! Revive me! Wait, what? I had the fairy! Oh my god. Oh wait, the fairy's gonna actually gonna bring me back. I thought she brought me back, like, in the fight, though. Doesn't help me to- oh, now I have to do them all over again? Oh, but he's in this mode. Okay, okay. That's fair. Oh no, he's not! He's in big mode! Okay, interesting. Well... This guy isn't too bad. If I can not be stupid and get hit in his second mode here, I should be fine. And getting hit in the first mode is just, like, embarrassing, so... Hopefully I don't get hit. There we go. Right, we made it to, to phase number two. Okay. Boom. And... Boom. Keep hitting them. Just gotta rain the bones on them. Who knew that... That fire was vulnerable to bones. It's fire's natural enemy, I guess. These guys are actually hard. 
So when they come for me, I don't really know what to do. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. Don't let up, don't let up. Okay, I only took one hit there, so I can afford two more rounds like that. Oh, we avoided damage. Yes, that's the sweet spot right there. All right, he's done. He's done. There's no way. There's no way. There's only one fireball now. That's a joke. Oh, God, he still got me. Oh, my God. We actually could have died there. I could have thrown it away with my overconfidence. All right. Fairies are essential, I have determined. What's exploding now? I like how there's a pyramid on an island to itself. Like, that's Pyramid Island. That's where we keep Egypt. Hey, we saved another dino pal. Come to me, my dino brethren. Let's get out of here. Use this. Ooh, I think I got a skateboard. Um, let's try it. Oh yeah, it's a hoverboard. Hoverboard technology in the caveman age. Boom. Game just got significantly more fun. I like how they get, <laughs> I like how you have the skateboard for this section, but you don't even really need it. Oh, I guess you needed to make this jump. I guess it's a big jump. I was gonna say previously when they gave you the torch, it was like you need the torch to go forward. You don't need a hoverboard. Cool as it is, but I get it. That's cool. Hey, I made it back. I'm alive. Let's uh, sleep so that I uh, don't throw all my progress away. All right, I'm gonna write this password down to 90FMCTV8. When I write these down, if it's a zero, I literally write zero because I don't know. Some games also have O's and it can be confusing and you can like screw yourself up if you don't know any better. Um, okay, first things first, we gotta go get that fairy again. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, well we gotta mine some, uh, we have to mine some fruit for this fairy, which can be done. We did it last time. Oh, look, there's a pit down there. I'm so curious what's down there. Not gonna go just yet though. But I wonder if that's like the way forward. It definitely might be. Um, we're gonna go check out the new dinosaur we got too though, before we really do too much. That's uh, order of business number one. Also, there was that, uh, there was the, uh, the plant over here that needs water. You know what? I'm just going to go into this cave for a second here. Uh, bust this. Since we're over on this side of the map, I want to go give this, uh, plant that's in the cave down here some water and just see what happens. Okay, get away from me, butterfly. Oh my god, the butterfly is going to get me. By the way, it takes your dinosaur away when you, uh, when you pass a boss. So, I don't know, I guess maybe I should have used the dinosaur more. I guess I feel like I kind of wasted him. I was too afraid to use him and I just ended up not using him. I didn't want him to die. Loved him too much. I'm not like Mario with Yoshi where I show cold indifference. Oh, damn it. We got, uh, too many, uh, fruits. I guess it doesn't matter right now. Hold on, let's put out this fire. Get out of here, fire! I hate you. I'm really excited to use this. I guess it's not a hoverboard, it's like a snowboard, but let me have it, guys. Let me have this fantasy, please. Oh, maybe later on you get stuff that allows you to breathe underwater, and then I can go get that egg. I bet you get scuba gear at one point. Oh, shoot. Okay, get out of here. Yeah, you got your fruit. Ha ha ha. Get out of here, you stupid bat. Let's do this. Do this. Ooh, more fruit. Don't mind if I do. Boink. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, get out of here. I don't even care, take the fruit. <laughs> you stupid bat. Um, oh. Interesting. And on this. I love these little puzzle rooms. Like, the puzzles are really basic, let's face it. It's not that hard to figure them out. But, uh, oh, we got, is, we got another half heart? Oh, interesting. So I guess you sometimes have to... Get like, oh yeah, look, I have a half heart next to my water gun. So I guess it's like Zelda, where sometimes it gives you like quarter hearts and stuff, and you have to like find more parts to get more of the uh, of the heart. Cool. Well, yeah, I'm I'm definitely betting eventually we have to go in this water, but for right now I'm not gonna try it. We're just gonna soldier on here. 
soldier on. Aw, oh, here's a bat. Die, bat. All right, we have four, five fruits. I feel like five fruits is good. I'm, I'm gonna stop trying to collect fruit at this point and just try and get back to the, uh, back to the whatchamacallit. Oh, I got a piece of fruit. This is why you stop collecting because you're gonna accidentally grab fruit. You don't want that to happen too many times. Smash. <laughs> Looks like I belly smashed that. Like belly flopped into it. Boss, that's the compass. Oh God, see there was the seventh piece of fruit right there. All right, let's play the moles. This fairy is, I would say this fairy is like pretty essential in this game. I thought she would instantly revive me and therefore like all boss fights would be null and void because if you can just revive in the middle of a fight, it's like you're gonna have so much health it'll be really easy to pass all the bosses. But instead, she just sort of brings you back to that screen and you have to redo the boss. So it's not like a gim- it's not a freebie, but especially like since I don't know any of the bosses, I've never played this game before, having the option of fighting a boss once, learning its patterns, and then, you know, coming in again, is like really important for being able to actually beat these guys. It's still not a lot of chances, but nonetheless, better than, uh, if I had died there and I had to redo that whole section. Boom. Boom. 21. 22. How many of you moles want to die today? 23. We slammed them. Took them to slam town. Give me that fairy. Stuff her in a sack. You better revive me when I get hurt, fairy. Alright. Um. Okay, that definitely is the way to go. But. We are first going to go get our dragon. Oops, didn't mean to go in there. We gotta go get our our pal, Bluey Joe. We had the red dragon before, now we're gonna get the blue one. It's awesome that you actually do get to ride these dinosaurs because, so I've never played Adventure Island 3, truth be told, but I have like seen it played. Um, and again, if, I re if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure you ride the dinosaurs in Adventure Island 3, but it's more of a linear platformer. So the fact that you have them here is totally awesome. Um, what did I come back for? Oh, I wanna get the dinosaur. You know what though? Just like waving at me. Let me get an updated password so that I have the fairy. So 90NTJ0VH. I have not seen an O yet, so I think they were smart enough. I feel like this is like the NES game that did everything correctly. Like they were smart enough to not include an O if you're gonna include a zero, because that's really annoying when you have letter and like alphanumeric passwords. Like, they learned from every other NES game that was ever made, and they're like, we're gonna make an NES game that makes zero stupid decisions. How about that? Except, of course, the fact that when you die, it's just straight up, you're just screwed, man. You're just done. They're like, you're dead, you're dead. You don't get anything. But, I mean, that's just a decision about difficulty. That's not necessarily uh, a design flaw. Ooh, this guy has, like, a starry tail. I feel like that's even worse than the other one, but... Whatever. I like how- look at Higgins. He's like barely hanging on. He's like, whoa, slow down! Okay, so he has like a Amelia attack. It feels worse than the other dragon, but I'm gonna try him. Does he jump high or something? Does he have any advantages? Why would you ever pick this guy? He seems objectively worse than the, uh, than the other guy. Um... Okay. We didn't finish exploring this cave down here. But, you know what? You only live once. So, YOLO, let's just go forward. <laughs> I was like, maybe if we go and explore the cave, we'll find another, like, half piece of heart or something. I'm sure at some point we'll have to backtrack through that cave. So we're not totally done with that cave, I'm sure. But there was definitely, like, little nooks and crannies to it that we did not explore, so whatever. We're going forward. Forward is the way. This is the way. Ooh, now we're in an ice level. We fell further into a cave and we found ice. What do we actually do here? Well, I guess we just jump. Um, ooh, look at this. I think these are warp pipes. So hold on, if I switch to... Whoops, not that. Do this. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Super Mario-style warp pipes. Oh, I can't go back up. Okay. Um, wait. Wait, what do I do here? 
Am I just screwed? Did I soft lock myself? Oh no, you can go back up. Okay. That's weird. Um, let's go with the surfing dude thing. Hey yo. Oh god. Oh god, what was that? Oh god, ow. Go, 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 Higgins! Okay, wait, what? We just ended up back down here. Hold on. Get off of this thing. How do I... It's really hard to get in that pipe. I guess it's not a pipe, it's... whatever. Uh, boom. Kill the snowman. Did he die? What happened? He turned into a head. Let's, let's uh, activate our dragon here. Boom! Oh, only the dragon's melee attack can kill him. Okay, and then we come here. Maybe we have to, like, survive. Oh yeah, look at this. It's a boss! Oh, okay. So I just- I just ran off the screen and exited. Easy, you're no match for the power of tail. Ooh, what do you got for me? Ooh, a spear! Very cool, what does this do? Every time I get a new item in this game, I'm, like, super excited. What does this actually do? Oh, it pokes things. Have any advantage. Okay, I'm just gonna put- I'm just gonna do a little bit of safety precaution here, put out these random fires. But what does this do now? Okay, so we came down here and we got a stick. Oh, maybe it has something to do with this? Like, what does this actually do for us? Jump over here? Nope. Can I kill this guy? Ow. Oh god. Okay, I don't know what his deal is. Alright, so... We have a spear. Now... What? Oops. Let me, uh, instead of just wandering around aimlessly... For another, like, 20 minutes... Oh god, whoops. Like the bones, dammit! Let me, uh, let, let me look up what, what to do with this spear here. Alright, two important discoveries. First of all, I figured out what you're supposed to do with the spear. But second of all, I did happen to see that there was a significant part of this cave down here that we missed. That is actually very easy to get to and very quick to get to. Uh, and so we're actually gonna go right back to this cave real quick. And then I will show you guys how to use this spear. The use of the spear is actually pretty cool. Um, but yes, we just have to... Kill this, this guy over here. First, let's get that. Switch to our bones. Boink. Bastard, get over here! Okay. Boink. Boink. Nope. <laughs> That's actually a hard jump to make. But if you can make that jump... Oops. If you can make that jump, then there's a special room waiting for you. And, uh... We want that special room. All right, here we go. Boink. Easy. All right, now we gotta kill the bat. Easy. Kaboom, puzzle room! All right. Oh, shoot, okay. Slightly difficult puzzle room. It's okay, we got this. I like how they like give you a platform here that you'll probably jump on just to show you that the platform is gonna disappear. So like you do have to time things. Oh, I thought that was a good timing. You do, th you do have to time things, like, fairly well. But at the same time, like, they're not monsters. They do give you infinite chances here. Oh! Missed it again. What am I doing wrong here? So it's like, yeah, you can fail this puzzle room, but then you just... Restart it! Yes! Heart! A full heart! So we should have had this before fighting the last boss, but we didn't even have it. Which I think means that we are bosses at this game. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's get back to where we need to use the spear. Now, actually, um, this is where we need to use the, the, the spear to move forward. And I will show you guys what we have to do, but actually, I think um, we are going to split this video into two parts, actually. I didn't necessarily intend to do this when I sat down to play today, but as you can see, the spear, you can jam into these logs and you can ride them. So cool! So neat! So yeah, I just thought we would play around with this game for a little bit and like see how far we could get. But this game is not only super fun, but it's very playable. 
And yeah, I'm having to look a couple things up here and there in the interest of like, not, you know, like just walking around in circles for like 40 minutes trying to figure it out. But I, I really like this game. Oops, took a hit stupidly. I really like this game and I want to keep going with it. So you know what? I think we're going to beat this game, uh, but just not today. So this is the, this is our first two-parter uh, for the, the Games You Never Played series. But uh, tune back in soon and part number two will be up and we will carry on the journey of uh, Master Higgins here and uh, beat, beat this game. So uh, if you guys have been enjoying the video so far, don't forget to, to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, other than that, uh, what do you guys think of this game so far? Is it kind of a cool game? Um, is it a game that you would have played back in the day? Again, it only came out in Japan, so if you are Japanese, maybe you've played this before. But for the rest of us, it's a lost NES game that uh, we never got a chance to try. So anyway, let me know what you think of this game so far in the comments down below. And other than that, I hope to see you guys for part two very soon. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and peace. Oh god, what's, what's happening? Oh my god, he's just humping the bottom of the thingy. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh...